Hi, Janelle Schaefer here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you what I do for seasonal allergies. So um, each year I usually have some form of seasonal allergies. It varies. Some years are worse than others. This year seems to be especially uh, difficult for me and I'll share with you why I think that is the case in just a minute. So before we get started, I'm going to ask you to hit the like button, to comment, just say hi, just let me know you're here, um, hit the bell button and also subscribe. And I think I said those in wrong order, but subscribe, <laughs> then bell. And um, also stay to the end of the video and I will tell you how you can get my free ebook. It's on making herbal teas and it's a great beginner guide kind of book for someone just getting into herbs. So let's get started. Dr. Christopher, most of my herbal training was through the School of Natural Healing, that allergies are um, an indication that your body needs to cleanse. So oftentimes um, we want to look at the major organ systems that uh, eliminate for our body. So we look at the bowels, we look at the liver, the kidneys, the urinary tract. And uh, for me, this past year with um, the world circumstances and things being closed down. Normally in the winter time, I do a lot of yoga and um, the hot yoga classes where it's like really hot and you're sweating. But with this winter and things being the way they were, I did not do my yoga classes. I did only one and I got outside and I walked and um, I did, you know, I, I went out regularly, but I didn't get like sweat. I didn't really like move those toxins out. So I felt like it was a little bit more stagnant this winter than I normally am. And so spring came, the plants are moving, things are blooming, things are coming up from the soil. And then also our bodies do that. Our bodies, especially if we need to cleanse, there's like this movement, the plants um, kind of bring that out for us. And it is actually kind of a good thing. It might be really annoying, but it is a good thing. So I kind of want to encourage it, but I also want to help myself so I'm not miserable. I do not want to take something like um, an over-the-counter drug that just stops the body from cleansing the way it's supposed to. So I've been doing uh, quite a number of things and I feel like I'm over a good, good hurdle. <laughs> the first beginning part of spring and if you look back about two weeks in my videos my eyes were really puffy i just had like a lot of um extra fluid in my body so i knew i needed to work on my kidneys i knew i needed to help support with some herbs and i have a kidney formula with uh, apple cider vinegar and dill and juniper and um, marshmallow root and so i started taking that I started juicing every day with uh, the chickweed in my garden that was growing rampantly. So chickweed and lemons, and I did some carrot and some apple and pear, but and piece, good pieces of ginger. So almost every day I've been juicing. I've been moving. I've been working in my garden, getting that lymph to really flow and move in my body. And then there's some other herbs that I'm taking that are helping and I feel like I'm getting really good spring cleaning. This has been a huge saver for me. This is Nature Sunshine Histoblock and I really, really like it. I never took it before. It has nettle, quercetin from Sephora Japonica fruit, bitter orange fruit, and bromelain, which bromelain is a, uh, an enzyme. So that's something like you, if your digestive tract is a little bit sluggish, which it can be after winter, you need to have the 
digestive system moving. So I forgot to say that more fiber in my diet, get that digestion moving, get the toxins to go out uh, the way they should. So they're not coming out my, out my nose and my eyes. So um, this, I really like this, the nettle, super important. And then I am drinking nettle tea. I have dried nettle here. This is Star West Botanicals. And I have plans to do a video on gathering nettles in the wild tomorrow or the next day. So stay tuned for that. And um, the fresh is always the best. But nettles have like a natural antihistamine ability. And uh, they are great for allergies. Plus they're filled with chlorophyll. Greens, greens always help the body. Lots of greens, lots of vitamins. Um, very good for cleansing the kidneys and the liver, very good herb nettles. Then as I'm reaching over here, two other herbs that I learned from Dr. Christopher that you put in combination are astragalus root and marshmallow root. So, uh, marshmallow root I have uh, is cut and the marshmallow root is very mucilaginous. It's slimy. Astragalus root is not so much it's more dry um, but these two herbs i simmer in uh, like a open saucepan and i have videos where i show you how to make tea that way but an open saucepan i put in about two teaspoons of each of these herbs a couple cups of water maybe up to four simmer for 20 minutes and the combination of these two herbs really soothes the mucous membrane soothes the body and soothes soothes those um allergic kind of uh, symptoms, but it's not stopping your body from cleansing. It's very soothing. So I will put um, all the herbs in my description down below. I usually use Mountain Rose Herb, but I did have these on hand, Star West Botanicals. I like Star West. I like Mountain Rose Herb. I do not um, have any others that I really recommend above these. Small farms though, if you have a small farm, in your area if you know an herbalist if they're collecting herbs those are the best ways to get your herbs uh, but as far as bigger companies sometimes i do order and it's star west or mountain rose herb so thanks for staying to the end of my video i hope you learned something uh, that will help you if you are having some allergy problems and um to get my free ebook first link in my description will take you over to my website sign up for my newsletter and just put free tea book free ebook in the description and i will email that to you right away so thanks and come again